Here are a few examples of solving simple two-step linear inequalities. So I'm going to start with this linear inequality. So 2x plus 1 is greater than 9. Now remember, all that sign there means is that what's on the left-hand side, 2x plus 1, is greater than what's on the right. Now the equation 2x plus 1 equals 9, hopefully we should already know how to solve that. Now actually if we can solve that equation we can also solve that inequality by exactly the same process. So this is just how I like to set up my working out. I like to write down what I'm doing to both sides on the right. It's, it's completely up to you as long as you're showing your working. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 1 from both sides of that equation. So I'm writing down subtracting 1 there which leaves me 2x on the left hand side because I've taken away 1 and leaves me 9 take away 1 which is 8 on the right hand side. Okay, I've then got 2x equals 8 so to undo multiplying by 2 I divide both sides by 2 x equals 8 divided by 2 which is 4. So that's a solution to a normal equation well the inequality is solved in exactly the same way so the only difference there is the symbol so rather than equals I've got a greater than sign but the price is still identical so I've got add 1 take away 1 so 2x is greater than 9 take away 1 8 and then exactly the same again divide by 2 8 divided by 2 gives me 4 so my answer is x is greater than 4. So the only difference is the symbol that's in the middle. It's really, really important that you keep the same symbol all the way through though. So remember that you are solving an inequality and not an equation. So you can see with 2x plus 1 is greater than 9, I've left a greater than symbol all the way through and you must check that really, really carefully. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So 3x plus 5 is less than 23. Different symbol but same process. So first thing I'm going to do is subtract the 5 from both sides which leaves me with 3x on the left hand side and 23 minus 5 gives me 18 on the right hand side. And then divide by 3 so x is less than 18 divided by 3 6. And then finally, 5x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 13. So again, exactly the same process. This is just how I like to do my working out. I'm going to add 2 to both sides to cancel out my minus 2. That's so going to give me 5x is greater than or equal to 13 plus 2, 15. And then divide by 5, so x is greater than or equal to 3. You notice that whatever equality symbol or inequality symbol I had at the start, I've kept all the way through the question. So less than all the way through there, greater than or equal to all the way through there. Watch out for that. Thanks for watching.